Hello and welcome to my first ever video. In this video I will be reviewing Dairy Milk's Marvellous Creations chocolate bars. Now these are fairly new on the market and I'm, I'm sure these flavours have only been out a few weeks at most as you can see the big new on the packaging. Um, well first let's have a look at you know where these came from. Um, it's sort of based around this new marketing campaign that Cadbury used called Joyville. It's obviously a play on the word Bourneville where Cadbury is made and it's kind of a concept for a space where people go to feel joy. You know, it's not like a geographical place like Bourneville is, but it's something that you, you know, are expected to experience when you have a Cadbury chocolate bar, you know, when you eat one of their delicious milky squares. Um, the... The theme of this, especially the Marvellous Creations, is very much sort of like an old-fashioned, um, sort of a, a Willy Wonka-esque feel to it. Um, on the website, it's got, it's very much, you know, early Victorian, late industrial period uh, themes to it, which gives it a feel of, you know, something that's been created, something that's been made, something new and exciting, as was the mood in that period um it's heavily romanticized obviously because the industrial period had many deaths due to you know smoke and danger and you know there were practically no labor laws but you know it looks at it and it says you know oh, have a look back in time to when cadbury came about and he wanted to bring joy and now we're doing with these marvelous creations i mean even the word marvelous makes you think of sort of victorians and that sort of era um also interesting i don't know if anyone knew this but the purple that dairy milk used that particular shade of purple is actually copyrighted so no one no one else can use that color at all it's actually copyrighted by cadbury itself um you know as well as the marvelous creations the joyville looks at british kookiness um, the idea that Cadbury is a British company and it's kind of this British fetishism that we have at the moment, along with things like Kath Kidson and the Great British Bake Off, you know, we're very um, patriarchal at the moment. Patriarchal? No, patriotic. Sorry. Patri well, both. Let's not get into that. Um, so, yeah, well, let's get down to it. Let's crack these babies open. Uh, the first one here we've got is the Cookie Nut Crunch, covered in delicious Cadbury dairy milk. I'm assuming it has bits of cookie and nuts in it. What kind of almond? It's got almonds in it. Oh, no, almonds and hazelnuts. Oh, okay. All right. Fantastic. Let's have a look at this. It's fairly easy to open. No embarrassment here. Have a little first thing you notice of the bar is that it's not shaped like um a traditional Cadbury chocolate bar you've got these sort of odd triangle shapes you know with different textures as well it doesn't have the Cadbury branding on it like a lot of them do um I think that's sort of meant to reinstate the kind of experimentation side of it that it is sort of a creation done and it's not been perfected but that's you know in Cadbury's eyes that's what makes it fantastic so let's give it okay as you can see i think there's a little bit of cookie it looks like cookie and there's a little lump there you can see i, th I think that's a nut let's find out mm. oh that's pretty good actually mm. Man, you've got the cookie flavour in there, as well as um, what appears to be chunks of caramel. Mmm. Mmm. Well, it's nice. It tastes excellent. I think that's really delicious. It's sweet not overpowering i wouldn't say it's cooking nut i'd say it's cookie caramel i can't 
I'm not really getting any of the nutty flavours that are in here. Let's try another another bit here. Mm. Mm. That really is lovely, but Says on the cover, cooking nut. I was cooking caramel. That's it. I can't taste any nuts really. Pretty nice. Still nice. Still nice. Okay. Right. Next one. We've got a banana caramel crisp. It's got a little. This one's different actually. If you look at it, the packaging's a little bit different. The Dairy Milk logo is bigger and it's the new, the newer Dairy Milk logo. Um, the, the new thing is smaller. And you've also got like a cannon, which kind of reinforces that sort of industrial area. Circus, a little bit weird. You know, so I guess that must be a newer packaging. Right. A little in it milk chocolate with banana flavor candy pieces caramel pieces and malted cereal balls okay so of course the the malted the multi balls must give it the crispiness oh i've just noticed that it says scan here for joy and it has a one of those qpr code things Reinforcing joy is like a concept that you can obtain by having one of these bars. Oh, you can see. Oh, can you see here? You've just got the little, I don't know if the camera picks that up. You've got the little yellow pieces in there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Right. Let's crack this puppy open. Mmm. You can see that? Yellow. Mm. Mm. Um, it's fairly good it's um definitely banana-y oh the banana pieces are fairly mm, are fairly chewy mm. Mm. There's a bit with a little ball in it. Let's try that. Mm. It's nice. You can definitely taste the caramel and the banana, but the banana feels very artificial. Like an artificial banana flavour, like kind of angel delight banana sort of banana milkshake thing rather than you know but i guess that's expected i mean it's a sweet but it does actually taste pretty nice it's something different i've never had banana and chocolate before so that was that was quite enjoyable mm. i'm gonna take a sip of water cleanse the palate mm. lovely Right, the last one, we've got jelly popping candy shells. Mmm, not really sure what to make of that. Milk chocolate with fruit flavoured jellies, sugar coated coca candies and popping candy. So it's got jelly beans, Smarties or the equivalent. And popping, oh popping candy. Not mm. popping candy in years. It's got a while eh? You can see in the thing you've got these sort of little different colours. You've got the different candy shells, I assume they are. I mean, it's not really lumpy like the other ones. So let's give it a try. Oh. Mm. Now, the first thing I've noticed, oh. Mmm. 
Can you hear that? Mmm. That's the popping candy. Mmm. That's pretty interesting. Mmm. You've got the the crispy shells, the sugar coating shells. <laughs> so it's really difficult to speak. It's quite distracting. And you've got the chewy jelly beans, which are, are nice. I'd probably say the flavour is really delicious because you've got the chocolate and you sort of got the sweet fruitiness and the candy. But I think the texture of the jelly beans, not gonna lie, kind of ruins it a little bit. Makes it feel a bit more, I guess, difficult to eat. Sounds quite fussy, really, but. Mm. It's still pretty delicious. Not overpowering. I expected a lot of these to be really, you know, quite intense flavours when actually they just sort of like flavoured chocolate bars, so to speak. So, I don't know if you can still hear the popping candy, it's still going. Ooh. Okay, I think it's dying down a bit. <laughs> well, so, you know, Cap Capri are definitely branching out with their chocolate bars. I think also, I don't know if any of you have seen in the shops, they've got chocolate bars mixed with Ritz and the little Lou salty cracker biscuits. So they're also capitalising on the whole sweet savoury divide that the american candy industry has made popular you know they've got these crazy flowers they're you know that crazy flowers crazy flavors i don't know why flowers is but I, th I think i think it's going well it's not it wasn't too sickly I expected it to be particularly sickly and you know a little bit unpleasant and maybe i couldn't finish a whole bar you know fairly sugary or maybe the flavors didn't match and match and although some of the flavours aren't what I expected, I mean that is not there's no there's no nutty flavour in that at all. Um, you know, the jelly in that, not really I'm not a fan of the texture and the banana bunny, but you know, it's nice. If you're looking for something a little bit different than your average chocolate bar, something with a little bit more flavour, then these are definitely quite nice, you know. They're not too not too sweet, they're not too out there. They're quite I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. I think my favourite would have to be the banana one. I guess I'm quite a big fan of the banana flavour. But yeah, so yeah, there we are. Dairy Milk, Marvellous Creations. It's my thumbs up. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll have some more videos coming up for you soon. So hopefully I'll see you again. Okay, bye.